So what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube, it's your boy GRJSM, oh! Yo, anyone who's been following me for any significant amount of time, you've seen that I like retro games. And the cool thing about retro gaming is that you get to play all your old games that you grew up on that you really like, you, you know, you had a great time playing Mario, Super Mario, some of the older guys, Galaga, you know, stuff like that. When I found out that Nintendo was releasing the Nintendo Classic, I got really excited. Then it came out with the Super Nintendo Classic. And I think when they came out, a like hundred bucks a piece. And I'm like, damn dude, like a hundred dollars for some old ass game. Then I realized that you could actually run those games on what's called an emulator. Now with an emulator, what it does is emulate or copy the system you know, that you want to play. And then you can download these things called ROMs. Now, the cool thing about ROMs, they are the game. So instead of buying cartridges, you just download the file. So there's plenty of websites out there that have tons of ROMs, tons of emulators, but I wanted to be able to, I guess, have my own. It was cool to have it on the computer. I did that for a while. It was all right. But then I realized that there was a $35 computer. You know where I'm going, baby. So the Retro Pi, is actually software that runs on the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a $35 computer. It's the same size as a credit card. I mean, a credit card? Incredible. What the Raspberry Pi basically does, you, you run your emulator through this software called RetroPie. And RetroPie has uh, emulation stations, so it'll run just about every type of emulator. The one emulator that I've been having an issue with is the Nintendo 64. It's almost like no matter where I get the ROMs from, no matter where I download the emulators from, that's just not work. I guess I just gotta chalk it up. I really wanted to bring to you guys today, it's called Game Wizard. If you have a retro pie, $35, you have an SD card, 32 gigs, just because they're relatively cheap, it allows me to, you know, not worry about how much storage I have. So 32 gig storage drive, maybe an Xbox controller or some type of a game controller, you know, USB gaming controller. You can get a case. I mean, case isn't necessary, but you can get a case. Game Wizard. What I'll do is I'll try to link up here or I'll try to just throw the, the, the web address right there. But you gotta check it out because Game Wizard will allow you to go through the settings and you can actually download virtually any game that came out for that system. There, I mean, there's thousands of games that are out there. And I've been spending the last few days and I'm sorry, I'm so sorry guys for not putting out a video. I've been playing games. I've got everything from the system called Amiga, I've never even heard of, the Atari 2600, Super Nintendo, the NES, Genesis, the 32X, Sega CD, Super Nintendo, like I said, the 64 doesn't work as well. The fact that I can do all that stuff right on this $35, you know, this is the size of a credit card. It's amazing. Let me actually show you the uh, case that I have. So this is the case for my Raspberry Pi. Plastic case, got my USB, my HDMI, my headphone jack, my LEDs, SD card, uh, and then my four USBs and my ethernet. And then I'll connect something like this. This is from 8BitO, the, the gaming pad. It's got the, you know, right, left buttons. It's got the, called ABXY, uh, start, select, up, down. Left, right. This one doesn't have analog sticks, but I do have an analog gaming controller and you can get all this stuff on Amazon. This will, you know, use USB to plug right in to one of the, you know, USB A's. Then you're off to the races gaming. All you gotta do is set up your up, down, left, rights, you know, and all that kind of stuff and start playing. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I think that this is, uh, you know, an awesome way to step up your RetroPie. You have a RetroPie downloaded. You may want to check out Game Wizard. They got an amazing interface. Uh, it's really cool how it comes on. It's really cool that they have links to different repositories where you can download all these other games. No matter what it is that you do, you got to do better to get better. This is your boy G-R-A-J-S-M-O, and I'm at.